knock out of the way because right. it's one of my absolute favorites. It's just he's, so he's an absolute ridiculous voice, and so and it, when you're an actor, like the the more ridiculous voices you, you're comfortable with doing, it kind of frees you up to do whatever. And it's nice to work with writers who are like, huh, huh, say wait, say this. <laughs> and that's kind of what Gearbox would do with us. They'd be like, oh my god, we love that voice. Wait, hold on, say this. So I'm going to say wonderful lines as Hammerlock, like, boner fart. Uh, which is just amazing. Uh, it's the voice that gives you permission to, to play all out. So Hammerlock's definitely one of my favorites. He's about to be featured in a, in a DLC that's going to make history. I'm very, very, very proud to have been part of it. Uh, God, that's it. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, I love, I love playing Tenya Ida in My Hero because it's no, there's no acting involved. It's just me being me. Uh, sometimes it's a little weird because I feel like, on some level, and I know it's not true, but I feel like the the mangaka followed me around with a sketchbook <laughs> when he was creating Ida, and I'm just kind, it's kind of scary. I'm like, I do that. We'll be recording it, and and Colleen, the the dub's director, uh, will be like, will be cracking up outside the booth, and I'll be like, "What's wrong?" She's like, <laughs> "I've seen you do that exact thing." I'm like, what are you talking about? That is not me at all. <laughs> you clap. Travel with me. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Tanya is Michael at the airport. Oh my yeah. word. I will get up in the plane and help the flight attendants with the safety lecture. Uh, I'm also the one that's texting everyone, guys, our plane leaves in four hours. Why aren't you at the gate? I, if Tanya Ida, people ask frequently, like, what would Tanya Ida be if he didn't have a quirk? A TSA agent. Uh, uh, so Tinya's one, uh, uh, Okabe from Steinsgate is very, very close to my heart because that changed me as a person. I got to work on the uh, adaptive scripts with Patrick Seitz, and so I got to not only uh, write the show, write the, the localization, but I got to play the main character, which was not the idea. I didn't write it for myself. I wrote it for some other poor bastard that I thought was going to have to deal with my writing, and it was me, and it was a totally different story. Um, think about it for a minute, because when you're, when you're in the booth as an actor, like you need someone to blame. And if you're the writer, there's no one. <laughs> can't be like, who wrote this? Ah, oh, that's right. Um, and as the writer, I can't be like, oh, he's mangling my line. Oh, I'm mangling my own lines. Well, well done, Tato. But it was also a very emotional character. He goes through a lot. And, and uh, so I had this experience where it was such an intense one for me, and I was so very proud of it, uh, that I had to take a break from acting for a few months because I was like, I need to find Michael again because Michael has gone away on vacation. Did you go full Blanche Dubois? I went full Blanche Dubois. Oh, heavens. Um, so Okabe from Tenya Ida is definitely okay. one. Uh, 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 Sebastian will always be a favorite uh, because he's. Uh, everyone's like, oh my god, I love you as Sebastian. And I'm like, I do too. <laughs> it's also the easiest voice I get to do because he's mm. so chill. He never raises his voice. He's always sort of here yeah, in this sort of eddy sort of voice and he gets to be very sexy and seductive. And it's, it's weird that people are like, oh my god, I love Sebastian. I'm like, we are clear that he is a demon that wants to eat your soul, right? Not relationship material. Okay. Uh, I mean, I that sounds like everyone I dated in my 20s. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, so I love that. I love, uh, who, who, oh my god, oh, Commander Irwin Smith from uh, Attack on Titan was very, very special to Lawrence. Me. Lawrence and Spice and Wolf. Uh, so Brina, uh, who, who plays Holo in Spice and Wolf, and also plays uh, CL, and she and I paired together like often. And Manetta. Huh? Don't forget Manetta. And she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, so, and Mad Moxie. I mean, she's been in everything, but whenever we're paired together, uh, as we've often been, uh, we all go, oh, that's really great. But like Spice and Wolf is far and away mine and Brina's favorite thing we've ever done together. Even more than Black Butler. And Black Butler is wonderful. But like Spice and Wolf is just truly, truly special. Uh, not just because we got to work together on the really, really great scripts written by Jamie Markey. Who was it was because of me. <laughs> but because she was also the director. <laughs> Again, it was because of me. It was all me. Jamie. Yeah. Um, it's my so yeah, favorite. Yeah, but it's it's really hard to, to pick favorite roles because after you've played hundreds of them, you're just kind of like, oh yeah, that oh I like that one too. Oh, and that one. So it's like picking a favorite like limb. I like all of them, and I I need them all. Um, I don't, you know. They're all important. They're all important. Yeah. They're all important. Like it's so sometimes I guess when when we ask the favorites question, it's like someone asking me like, what's your favorite toe? I'm like. <laughs> Put down the shears and I'll answer. <laughs> but yeah, so that brings me on to my next question. I was going